if my mind, if the county does not pay the employee staff. for the library for the staff. So we have nothing there that we show personnel. So we go back into their overall budget. It's just an appropriation from allocation that we provide for the library that they spend the money as they but salaries do come out of that as a yeah. part of everything else. Yeah. But that's in their part. It's not for the our whole operational. Yeah. It's not our accounting process, so it's not shows up. It does not show up here. separated that out even from the chamber and moved that over to a, to a private entity that's handled that. Um, so then if you look at page 14 on the expenditures, you are just slightly ahead of where you were last year. So um, if you look at the net general fund, and this is right now revenue over expenditures, Scheduled to hear a case, and that case decides, uh, the applicant decides not to proceed, does not show up, whatever. Then they, they're paid that day, and then they go home. So, about three years ago, um, the General Assembly said that the clerk of court would become the administrator for the Board of Equalization. They would handle the schedule and they would handle all the notifications and acceptance. So they begin to have more cases scheduled 
per day. One canceled, fine, you got two more or three or whatever. So that's why I said you said it's been more in line because you're covering the rest. And it really depends on how many people appeal. Yeah. So it's really not anything to be alarmed about because it is, again, just part of that process. They could cover the appeals and we may be done and we won't have any more, but then next year it may be less. And, and, and it, again, it, it's after the, they occur after the tax notices go out, um, but before the tax bills go out. Um, we're on page 16. This is the jail operations plan. Based on all this being a six month snapshot of the actual budget, shouldn't these numbers be at 50% instead of 25%? Because that's what we're doing. Huh? It depends on the <coughs> Well, I mean, if I. <laughs> the answer to that is yeah, it would be perfect world if they had a means. Used to, most of those would be zero at this point. <laughs> okay. Because, and we started quarterly billing a lot of these people. So okay. Ms. Black, on the other governmental 911 charges, who all participates? Who all would be? That's, that's just that's Eccles only Eccles County. County. Um, then under your charges for service, that is your, um, the other 911 charges are your landline phone charges, and then you have your wireless 911 charges, um, which is the cellular, and then you have the wireless
look like you're being alcoholic, you got to pay a license and a permit to be an alcoholic. <laughs> Zoning fees are down a little bit from where they were last year, um, but all in all, your revenues are about about the same as they were at this point in time last year. They're pretty much in line. Over on our expenditures, again, we created a separate facilities maintenance budget for the fire department. Um, in your contingencies, you'll see that there was a great deal more expended last year than there was at the same time. Some of the fire equipment that you had purchased last year um, that went along with the um, truck that was purchased. Um, you have the um, dues to the regional commission. Um, that's a flat amount. Fire, you're actually down a little bit on your expenditures from last year. Mosquito control. Um, the reason we were showing such a difference between this year and last year is because of the um, change in the process for um, the contract with ESU, and that has not been paid yet this year. Uh, then you have your planner, um, this is um, Mr. Madden Forge Department. And then under planning MPO, that's any use of
outside of legislation or has something to get determined years ago. The God of Classification for Administration. and you look at that pretty closely <coughs> with my critique of it. Uh, pretty close. Assessment on that. Well, if we do a monthly um, statement that's broken down in a little detail. Uh, now that we've instituted these rate adjustments this year, even though there's rising costs, it's, it's really operating in a very effective manner. What you have to watch for is if we have a virtual growth, that obviously makes your operational costs scale up quicker. We're in a law here, or have been, uh, you know, that can always change.
forever. I think he was born in it. Technically, technically I was. My father was the county auditor. So, uh, that, that historical information really fills in a lot of points for us and makes this process um, much more, I wouldn't say easier, but it makes it more accurate. So, we to take a break. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to take about a 19 minute break before we <laughs> <laughs>